And we start you off with our 906 Weather Watchers page. Kev from Westwood sent this photo in this morning. He caught a blue jay right in time as he was taking a peanut off the deck. What it assumes like or the back porch, but you can also see the leaves in the background here and the pumpkin as well. Definitely an awesome fall photo. Thanks, Kev, for sending that in. If you'd like to join our 906 Weather Watchers page, please feel free to check out it out. Check it out on Facebook and join. We'd love to have you and we'd love to show your 906 Weather Watcher photos from all across Upper Michigan weather and nature wise on our newscast at WJM and Local 3 News at 6 o'clock Eastern, 5 o'clock Central and 11 o'clock Eastern, 10 o'clock Central. All right, let's fire up the Max computer here and you can see that we do have some rain, steadier rain to even a soaking rain moving across the north woods of Wisconsin back into lower Michigan here. And this rain across the north woods of Wisconsin is creeping ever so slowly to the north and towards the east. But as you can see, what we've all felt today is the cooler temperatures. It really now feels like October out there. We got 46 degrees Sawyer International, 45 for Houghton and 51 degrees for Munising and 47 degrees. The land of Lakes, Wisconsin, 46 for Ironwood, a good geez, 20 degrees colder, cooler than what it was yesterday, maybe 25 degrees. Most of these temperatures were before sunrise for high temperatures today in the 50s. And as we look at weather in motion here as we go through the rest of the night, the rain I showed you across the north woods of Wisconsin moving on through upper Michigan. The exception would be possibly the Keweenaw Peninsula may stay dry as we go through the night, especially Houghton northward towards Copper Harbor. But as you can see for the night, you can see most of the UP at least getting in on some rain. As we go into to tomorrow, some lingering rain showers in the morning near Lake Michigan and in the eastern UP. And then we do get some lake effect precipitation, Keweenaw and maybe around Marquette and points eastward. And then our next storm system, and that's actually going to drop in from the north, will be moving on in here as we go into Friday. And that might get the lake effect going here just a little bit. You can see some lake effect rain showers moving on in, and it may be chilly enough inland where we could see some of those lake effect rain showers mix in with some wintry precipitation. So as we look at three things to know here. We are definitely in a fall like weather pattern right now with the cooler temperatures. We're also going to see some rain showers and some wind mainly tonight and also for the daytime on Thursday. And yes, like I showed you in weather in motion, it may be cool enough where we could see some of the wintry precipitation mix in with some or some rain showers mix in with some wintry precipitation. All right, tonight's forecast. We're going to have some rain moving on through the UP along with some gusty winds. Temperatures tonight across Upper Michigan in the 30s and 40s. Your coolest temperatures will be across the interior west. As we look at your UP community extended forecast, Marquette, Marquette County, we're looking at temperatures in the 40s for your Thursday, 40s for Friday, and 40s also for the daytime on Saturday. And then temperatures remain chilly for Sunday, but hopefully just a little bit drier for the second half of the week. Weekend. For the eastern UP, we're looking at temperatures in the 40s for your Thursday and Friday and Saturday as well. And then 40s remain for Sunday, a little bit drier, and then back to around 50 for Monday. And everybody's going to be back to around 50 on Monday, I think. For Delta County and Escanaba will have some rain showers and also some gusty winds. Highs tomorrow around 50. If we do stay in the clouds, might be a little bit cooler. If we do break out into at least a little bit of sun, temperatures could be around 50 or the 50s. 40s for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And then as we look at Delta County and Escanaba, we're looking at temperatures in the 40s for your Thursday, 40s for Friday, 40s also for Saturday and also Sunday. And then the Keweenaw Peninsula will see some lake effect rain showers, not much, and also some gusty winds. The bulk of the precipitation tonight misses you to the south, but definitely as you said, head south of Houghton, your rain chances do pick up tonight. And then rain showers, maybe some wintry precipitation inland for Friday and Saturday, and then drying out a little bit for Sunday, highs in the 40s, and then back to around 50 as we go into Monday. For weather anytime, you can head to our WJM and Local 3 app, also online at upmatters.com.